I like people. Right? I'm not a grumpy person. You can you can see that. I have a good sense of humor. I'm very likable and I like I like people. I go to the always to the crowd. Right? So half of the problem in the world is solved, as I told you last time. If you like people and people like you, right? And next half is really figuring out which bottle to press. That is called delegation. When company goes bigger, even if you have 10 people, right? The right good manager knows which bottom to push. So I have 400 people over here, all together we have 500 people in the education. So I know which bottom to press. That means I know who can get the work done. My skill set is always getting lot, knowing people, right? That is I'm really what I'm good at is that I really know them and they know me. When, I, when you know them, you know what someone is good at when you are. You just promote them. So over here, I, I literally do not do anything. Even in the US, all my team is working. I, I have only a couple of problems every week, nothing more than that. When people say I'm too busy, I'm not busy. That's what I'm doing to offer a different thing. Not busy at all. Right now, my business is only when, when you try to take appointment, they always say I'm busy. I'm meeting so many people, that's what it is. It's not that I'm writing 20 emails, 30 emails, I just write one line email. Every day, what you do is that to get going, you look people who are more successful than you, right? You get inspired, they are your role model. And you, if you have 500 employees, you look around, someone has 2,000, someone has 5,000 employees, right? And I always think, I always challenge myself, why, why I can't get there? Challenging means I want to get there too. Why not me, if they can do, right? So that, that makes me go a bit further. So the mother challenge, I don't know much about that. <laughs> it has been so easy so far, okay? Oh, you, we, you probably forget that. You know, the next two is the question again. Not that much. That, that may be the way I'm a smart person. Okay? I didn't have that. Challenge me a couple of days. I never struggled for more than a few days for a challenge. Because I always figure it out the way out. I mean, that way. That's why I say it's, it's good to give up sometimes. Right? But I find that when there is a big hurdle, I know if that if I can cross that hurdle or not. I figure it out. So I choose my path alternatively if I know that hurdle is too big. So so I didn't hang around for months and this thing. In a couple of days, okay, it doesn't work out. I I found the alternative. I always think positively. Because challenge is challenge when you have a hurdle and you are so depressed that you don't look for alternative right away. So when I have a challenge and I immediately I look for alternative, that doesn't become a challenge anymore. So I don't stick around for the, with the challenge for long enough, not for more than a couple of days. And sometimes there is a, there has been a case in my life, uh, I remember, uh, it's very confidential, private, I haven't told anyone. I was married and uh, you don't even disclose how much money you have, right? I mean, you have a new wife and you don't tell her how much money you have. You don't have, you don't have to feel that I don't have money to buy vegetables. One fine morning my wife told me, it was a week after to get the vegetables. I didn't have money. What I did, I had the bike. So what I, I used to live in Ganesor, at Maliga, what I did is that I bike to Barasur and borrowed money from my friend, 100 rupees, and bought the vegetables. So I didn't even have, I didn't have even 5 rupees. So what I did is that, look at that. Some people could be depressed. If you not look for solution, what you would do is that? You would go to your wife, you tell that I don't have money for buying vegetables. What would happen? She would be depressed, I would be depressed. Right? And then it would be very challenging for many time. Okay, she would be saying, oh my God, what did I do? Look at <laughs> I don't know. So what I did is that I figured it out. I can't do this. Okay, uh, let me go to my friend, borrow money, and he ara thakai kini. That's what it is. So I don't. I never get forever. When I got, uh, she was my girlfriend for many years, six, seven years before I got married. So we decided to get married. I didn't have money to buy ornaments. I didn't have anything. What I did is that I borrowed ornament from my friend uh, Surendra campus examiner. So she was upset, but she was okay because 
it was not the one of the other day. Keep it in one and a way on a bag or a better would have been bigger problem. And I immediately find about no without thinking the consequences. Okay, let's figure it out right now. I don't want to be the bad problem, but I have figured it out something. So it was done, everything later on, right? I said that okay, this thing has to go. Okay, it's not ours. <laughs> प्रोकास्टिनेटिंगस्टिनेटिंगस्टिनेटिंग that when that getting that done makes me happy i always want to get that done most of the entrepreneur half of the entrepreneur in in western world they are entrepreneur before they leave the college if you have left the college there is 50% chance they will be entrepreneur how would you make that 50% chance work better for you means you work for somebody else and learn from them right work hard Learn the tips and tricks. Only hard work can teach you tips and tricks. Tricks, nothing else. Our body, when you are doing something, you are busy. Okay? I mean, it's so wow. Our body, our body, our body, busy. Okay? Get it, get it. You only have to. So, then, after you pour the sugar, you are busy. Then, they are after you sing. You are doing hard work. Okay? Young people, I don't know what you call young. I mean, I still think I am young. So, <laughs> anyway, for young people, the my message: the work hard. Learn all the tips and tricks for the life. Please subscribe us. Please subscribe us.